Hey there, this is World of Tea, and I'm John, and I'm coming back at you guys today on another beautiful sunny day in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're in mid-December at this point, the air is crisp, the sun is shining down, and I'm really excited to review another mate. So, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you might notice I've rebranded my channel from John's Mate Reviews to World of Tea. I have a few ideas for videos in the future that I'm really excited about that I want to explore. I want to explore a history of jasmine green tea, a history of yaupon tea, which is America's very own yerba mate, if you don't know. I want to explore a history of yerba mate. And I kind of, I think that there's a really fascinating history of how tea made its way around the world and how different countries interact with it. So um, when I'm changing my channel name, I'm broadening my horizons a little bit, and I'm very excited to bring you those videos. But again, if you've been following me for a while fret not i still have many mate reviews coming and i'm still going to be reviewing yerba mate yerba mate is my all-time favorite tea and i wouldn't have it any other way so with that let's get into it so today i'm going to be reviewing cbsa regulase if you're an anglophone like me regulase means regulated so i'm not quite sure what that means but i have a pretty good idea so this yerba mate is a mix of many many teas and many flavors and i actually had to bring my notes out for this so this mate is a mix of yerba mate stems pennyroyal polydextrose rose hip chamomile cedar as in the wood and plum flavoring so there's a lot going on in this mate and i'm very excited to discuss it and with that let's get into the flavor well the scent i should say we'll get into the flavor too just in a second so this has a wonderful melody of it, it, this is a very complicated flavor. There's a lot of things going on here. Um, when I inhale, I can definitely smell that yerba mate. And that was one of the things I was a little curious about when I first got this mate. Like, how much of this is going to be a yerba mate versus how much of this is going to be just a general mix of teas with yerba mate included? I will say yerba mate is definitely the most dominant scent here but there's a lot going on you can definitely pick up that chamomile you get that refreshing cedar scent and most importantly you get that plum flavoring so that plum flavoring it's very sweet and if i had to describe how this makes me feel if i close my eyes i feel like i'm wandering through a cedar forest and this is a little, this is a little, <laughs> all right, this is a bit much even for me, but um, I, I feel like I'm wandering through a cedar forest and um, I'm taking a bite out of a plum and it's very earthy and very quiet. And that's kind of how this mate makes me feel based on the scent. So with that, let's get into the leaf quality. All right, so you're definitely going to be able to see that cedar in there, um, and there's a lot going on. You can see the chamomile, you can see the mate leaves, it's very powdery, and you're going to see when I shake my gourd and I mix my mate up and I hold my hand out, you're going to see my hand has a lot of powder on it. And you can definitely make out there's just a lot going on in this mate. It's not like other mates where you just look at it and it's yerba mate with stems and maybe, you know, maybe like you might see a seed or two. But this is a very, there's a lot of things going on here and there's a lot that makes this mate up. So with that, let's get into the flavor. So I am going on about my fourth cycle here and... You can actually see, I, I've this, this is over the past week, I've drank a lot of this mate because I really wanted to collect my thoughts because the flavor is very unique on this. And just like the scent, there's a lot of things going on with the flavor. So, And man, when you take that first sip on that first cycle, this isn't my first cycle, but that plum flavoring is just going to come right out and wallop you in the face and you're just going to get a really it's like taking a bite out of the plum fruit but then as soon as that rush of plum comes in 
you're going to get this gentle wind of this yerba mate malty flavor and this chamomile and the chamomile and the mate you wouldn't think they would go well that uh, go that well together but they really do they balance each other out perfectly and then you have those gentle subtones of the cedar wood and the rose hip and Man, that first cycle you take out of this mate is just a wonderful experience. It's very complex. The flavors balance each other out very well. I, I'd i say anybody, whether you're a beginner to mate or you've been drinking mate for years, anybody needs to try this. And that kind of segues me into my next note, the durability. So as much as it kills me to say it, the durability on this mate, at least for the flavor, it just isn't there. I'm on my fourth cycle. By the third cycle, a lot of that plum flavoring is going to be really washed out. And again, it doesn't become bad, but it's just that first cycle was so good that you want that flavor cycle after cycle after cycle. At this point, it tastes like a tea, and you still get those chamomile notes, and obviously the yerba mate notes, and the cedar notes. And it's a CBSA, so you know that the flavor is going to last for a minimum 15 cycles before it really starts tasting washed out. But man, just going from that first cycle where that plum flavoring is so strong to a very mild tea flavor, that leaves me with mixed feelings. And again, as of the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth cycle, the flavor isn't bad. It's just very muted and very watered down compared to that first cycle. So that's just something to keep in mind, um, which also brings me to the caffeine content. So as the name implies, regulase, I believe what they mean by that is the idea is the chamomile is supposed to kind of take the edge off of the caffeine. So maybe that would work for some people, but for me, it just kind of wound up like I would drink the caffeine, I would get the caffeine buzz, and when the caffeine would wear off about an hour and a half later, I would fall asleep almost because the chamomile kicks in and I'd become very tired. So um, it, it's it's weird, like... The caffeine content in and of itself, I'd describe it as moderate, um, not not anything crazy. I, I'd say it's about like on par with Cruz de Malta, um, you know, other like moderate caffeine content mates. But it's just kind of weird because the chamomile like chamomile like has effects where it makes you sleepy. I don't feel like those two effects go really well together. And personally, I cannot drink mate before bed. If I drink caffeine before bed, I won't be able to sleep. I know there are people that do drink mate before bed, and I, I really wouldn't recommend, um, you know, throwing a wrench in your sleep cycle with drinking caffeine. But if you're going to do it anyway, um, CBSA Regulase might be the best way to do that. So it's just something to keep in mind. And... If I had to give this mate review out of five stars, I would give it a four out of five star review. And again, this is a wonderful mate. The flavor is really good. The leaf quality is really good. There's just, it, it really is unlike any other mate I've tried and just how complex the flavor is. But the thing that holds it back for me is the durability just isn't there. Um, I would say this would probably be a wonderful French press mate. Um, currently, I'm drinking traditional style. My water temperature is about 65C, um, 70C, right? But man, it's just like I prefer to drink my mate traditional style because I like to sip it over the course of like an hour or two and it just prevents me from having to get up, you know, pour more tea. But yeah, man, it's just, I, I really feel that the lack of durability on this mate really holds it back. And again, the flavor doesn't become bad deeper into the cycles, but it's just, it, it just doesn't keep up with its former glory of that. That The first cycle is a five-star flavor, hands down. It is one of the best, most complicated, most delicate flavors I've ever tried, but it just wears off so fast, so... That's kind of where I stand on CBSA Regulase. Um, oh, and importantly, the price. So this mate, it wasn't too bad. I bought it off GoYerbaMate.com for $7.75. So um, for a premium mate, that's not too bad. I'd say that's about average price. Again, do keep in mind that there are mates where you can get an entire kilogram of this stuff for like 12 bucks. But again, for such a, uh, for, for such a mix 
um, with such a nuanced flavor, I'd say that's a pretty good mate. So again, I would recommend this mate for anybody to try, um, especially if you like French pressed mate, uh, French pressed mates. I think that that's where this mate would really shine where um, you're not worried about getting multiple cycles out of it. You're just kind of worried about, you know, getting one really good flavored uh, mug of it. So that's where I stand on it. Great mate um, with a weak durability. So I really enjoyed this video, and it's been awesome talking to you guys again. And I hope you guys stay tuned for some fun stuff in the future. And until then, keep on sipping mate.